Hello, here we are, our first day of distance learning. So let's start things off with decimal multiplication. This is the first part of your worksheet. Remember, you add the decimal after you work the problem. The first problem on your worksheet is 78 times 6 and 8 tenths. 78 times 6 and 8 tenths. Remember, anything that comes after the decimal, we say and the uh, place value. There's one digit after the decimal, so that is tenths. So we have 8 tenths. Our first step, 8 times 8. Everybody, what is it? That's right, 64. Next up, 8 times 7. What is 8 times 7? Think about it. Ready? Go. Yes, 56. So 56 plus 6. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. So we have 62. What do we do before we go to the next um, digit? That's right, we put a zero in the ones place because we move to the tens. Because this six is in the tens place right now. So six times eight. Everybody, what is six times eight? That's right, 48. So we're gonna put that there, cross that out, four. Next up, seven times six. What is seven times six? That's right, 42 plus four. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. 46. Notice how I'm using my fingers when I'm counting. These are great tools to do math. So, then we need to add these together. Four plus zero, four. Eight plus two, 10. Six plus six, 12. Plus one is 13. And one up here, four plus one is five. Nice job. All right. Now let's go back to what this said. Add the decimal after you work the problem. We worked it. So how many decimals do we have here? Decimal places. That's right, one. So I need to move my decimal that would be here right now over one. So my answer is 530 and 4 tenths. Good job. All right. So you have the rest of those to do on your own. Next up, let's move to the next thing on our worksheet, decimal division. Decimal division. This is different than the multiplication decimals because you add it the decimal before you work the problem. So on our worksheet, our first one is going to be 24 and 8 tenths divided by 4. Notice on your paper it's written out differently. You can still work it how we usually do. So 24 and 8 tenths divided by 4. All right. So first step, can 2 be divided by 4 this way? No, it can't. So we need to turn it into 24. What is 24 divided by 4? Wait a second. That's right, it's 6. So we put our 6 up here, because what's 6 times 4? 24. Good job. Put it down here. We know 24 minus 24 is 0. Bring down our 8. 4, 8 divided by 4. What is it? Ready? Yes. Two. Now, notice what I forgot to do that I said we should have done before. We put the decimal in our answer before we do it because it needs to go directly above where it is in the equation line. We can't move it around because we know this nothing goes here, so we move to the six and two tenths is our answer. All right, let's move on. Next up, we have story problems. So the first story problem on your worksheet talks about King Mountain and Anchor Mountain. It says King Mountain is 80, 
8,700 feet, and Anchor Mountain is 3,620 feet higher than King Mountain. And it asks us, what is the height of Anchor Mountain? Because it doesn't tell us the height, it tells us it's higher than King Mountain. So, what should we do with this problem? Are we adding or subtracting? Think about it. Adding, correct. Why do you think that would be? So, the reason is, is because the key word in there is higher. Because it says, King Mountain equals 8,700 feet. Anchor Mountain equals 3,620 feet higher, underline that, than King Mountain. Meaning, if I add these two together, it's going to give me the height of Anchor Mountain. So, I want to add those together. So, I'll work the problem here. We all know what 0 plus 0 is, right? Mm -hmm. 0. And 0 plus 2, 2. 7 plus 6 is 13. Carry the 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. So, now, you need to make this a complete sentence or a complete answer. So you can't just say 12,320. 12,320 what? Feet. What's 12,320 feet? Anchor Mountain is 12,320 feet. There you go. All right, the last thing on your worksheet is letter equations. I like these because I like to balance out equations. And this is the perfect example of how we do that. So, the first one on your worksheet says 2 sevenths T equals V. V equals 56. What should I do with this V? That's right. I should cross it out and plug in 56. Now, what we want to do is get all the um, numbers on the same side of the equal sign. Right now we have a 56 on this side of the equal sign and two sevens on this side of the equal sign. How would I get the two sevens over here? That's right, the reciprocal. So I need to multiply two sevens by its reciprocal, what as we know, is it the fraction flipped. So we have seven halves. And whatever I do to this side of the equation, I have to do to this side. So I have seven halves over here as well because we know this all together equals one, one T, or we can just say T, because there's one of them. We don't need to write the number one next to a letter that's there by itself, because that represents one. So now we have T equals 56 times seven halves. And what do I need to do to 56 to multiply it by a fraction? Put it over 1. And to solve this, I multiply straight across. So, the easy part first, 1 times 2 is 2. Next up, 56 times 7. A little bit lengthier, you might want to work this on the side. So we have 56 times 7. We know that fifth, uh, 6 times 7 is 42. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39. There we go. So now I have 392 halves. That's a fraction. I want a whole number. So, I have 392 halves. 
What would I do to turn that into a whole number and not a fraction? Divide it. So, again, I'm going to work it over here. So I have 392 divided by 2. So, how many times can 2 go into 3? 1 time. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract that. I have 1. Bring down my 9. 2 can go into 19 how many times? 9. Because 9 times 2 is 18. Bring 19 minus 18 is 1. Bring down the 2. Last part. 12 divided by 2. 6. There's my answer. So I know t equals 196. And that is it. The rest you need to do on your own on the worksheet that was provided earlier today. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you message me on Class Dojo. We're going to be setting that up in a great way uh, moving forward for you to submit your work. Um, I should have already talked about that today. If I have it, let me know. Remind me, and I'll get that set up this week. Um, as of right now, as I've said, this week is going to be review, so this is our first step. I'm going to push things a little bit more throughout the week because um, I know you guys are good at this stuff and you're getting better. We left things off on a really good note, and I want to keep that up. So keep up the great work. I look forward to hearing from you, um, and we're going to get through this. You're off to a great start, I'm sure of it. So remember, this is due later today. I will be looking at it, waiting for you to submit it up to Class Dojo. All right, take care.